Pastor Alduan Sart, psychology servant, bridging church and psychology together. And I am excited about bringing you this first webinar called Saving Our Sons, How Single Moms Can Raise Boys into Smart, Well-Disciplined, Successful Men. This is for any mom out there, whether you are single or actually have the responsibility, either you're married or in a relationship, of raising your son, which is pretty common. A lot of times moms do a lot of the parenting, especially if your uh, son's father or your husband works a lot. It's a lot of responsibility when it comes to the house, comes on moms. And so I'm doing this presentation for you because it is very important that as a woman, you learn how to parent a boy because it is very different from parenting a girl. I know because I am a father of a girl and it's very different. So what will work with boys won't, won't, won't work with girls and vice versa. So what I want you to do is I want you to sit back. I want you to actually take some notes and I want you to think about what you want to do when it comes to raising your son. This hour-long presentation is going to show you how to raise your son, regardless of his circumstance, into a smart, well-disciplined, and successful man. And I've been doing this for going on 16 years now as a clinical psychologist here in Atlanta, Georgia. I am from Morehouse College as well as I have a PhD from the University of Michigan where I was the youngest African-American to get his PhD in clinical psychology. So I know my stuff. I'm excited about giving it to you right now. All right. So let's dive right in. All right. Let's talk about some statistics uh, for single parent homes. 10.4 million moms are raising boys. That number is even higher when you include moms that have the primary responsibility, even in relationships, of raising their sons. 22 million children living in homes away from their fathers. 50 percent of kids will spend at least some time in home without a father before they graduate from high school. And then 10 years of divorce, two thirds of children report not seeing their father within the last year. So this is a growing phenomenon, unfortunately. But the good news is you can raise your son to be dynamic even when dad is, is absent or out of the picture or you have most of the responsibility when it comes to raising your son because I'm going to give you everything that you need to know. And you're going to smile and relax and know and not worry about whether you're doing the right thing because you know that what you're doing is effective and already has uh, gotten you results. Now, I know as a mom, you may worry that you don't know how to raise your son to be a great man because you're a woman. I mean, you know the right things, but you don't know exactly what to teach him. Or you may not know how to balance your, your love and your parenting life. Or maybe you don't know how to handle your son's father or fathers. I don't know how to properly discipline your son to get that respect that is needed. Or maybe don't know how to get your son on the honor roll. Believe it or not, this presentation, I'm going to show you how to do all of that because I want to replace your worry with belief. Change your energy from worry into belief. And what helps us believe is when we know that we're doing the right thing. If you stay the course, you're going to be able to turn his life around. And you're going to have a son that you're proud of. You're going to be proud of him anyway, but you'll be proud of the way that you raised him, even if you have to do it by yourself. And this is absolutely a ministry for me, so I'm so excited to give you the information to make you just feel a sense of energy and belief when it comes to raising his son. All right, let's talk about the negative statistics because this is important. This is why you should watch this webinar. 63% of youth suicides are from fatherless homes. Boys without fathers are twice as likely to go to prison. Boys who grow up without a strong influence from their father tend to perpetuate the cycle of not being there for their sons. And then boys who grew up without their fathers are more likely to drop out of school. So those are some pretty serious risk factors. And I, I want you to smile because we're going to reverse all of those. We're going to make sure that your kids in that 37 percent of kids that do not present, uh, do not have you suicide or depression or anxiety or, or, or low, low honor roll or lack of hope. I want to make sure that you you understand. So this is this is critical. All right, there's an important research done for single moms. I believe in giving you research and things that are proven versus just giving you opinions because you're going to spend your money on this. You need to make sure that you're, you're getting something that's actually worked. 